Release the mighty winds. Degast resin. I'm making two different versions of this plate with forged carbon fiber and regular carbon fiber. One of them is gonna be put in a vacuum bag and the other one is gonna have something heavy put on top. We're gonna to see which one comes out better. More forced carbon fiber fabric. Now I can't put the resin straight on top of this. It's gonna mess it all up. So carbon fiber veil, I can sand this off because I'm gonna be sanding this anyways. Lay that on here. Now I can add resin. Not just one layup, but now I have two. They are different sizes because I have two different sizes of glass, but otherwise it's the same layup. Here, have a glass sandwich. The big one is nestled in this vacuum bag and the little one's gonna get some special treatment. Oh boy, this is heavy. This might be a bad idea. I hope I don't break the glass. Did it move? Uh, I think it's okay. We'll see. My beautiful creation. Um, we have a little vacuum pump here. That's sucking all the air out of this bag. And then I have the heating pads on top to make it cure faster. Just gotta leave it for a while now. It's cured. And this right here, folks, is why we put down cardboard and wax the glass plates so that all this squeeze out doesn't get stuck onto the glass or all over the table. I went completely underneath all through the cardboard. I also have contact paper on here, but that's gonna need replacing. This was not such a great idea. At least the execution was quite poor. Well, that's not very good. That has a heck of a lot of pinholes, my goodness. There's the side that's got the veil. It's not too bad. That is one heck of a rigid plate. It's time for our meditative breathing exercises in X. Well done. I actually managed to break my glass plate. That's a first. I should have made the peel ply stick out a lot further. So more of that squeeze out would have ended up far away from the plate instead of completely enveloping these corners. That was silly. Not bad. Still some pinholes even in this one. Porch carbon fiber is just so prone to pinholes. This side's good. Oh, I don't think we have any pinholes at all. So now the question is, once I sand this to get rid of the veil, what's the pattern gonna look like? Is it gonna look as pretty as this pattern, but without the pinholes? If so, then just adding that carbon fiber veil onto every side for forged carbon fiber might be the key. I'm just not sure yet. These are gonna have to post cure now for at least another week before I can do any more testing, cutting, sanding, and all that. So I'm gonna just call it quits there and say definitely the one that was in the vacuum bag, way fewer pinholes. This one has so many pinholes and it's a good option potentially to use that veil. I just gotta see how it comes out if I sand into it, but that definitely gave a much nicer surface finish. So good test, all done for now. We'll check back later. <laughs>